y'all ready for this? This is a screen test uh, for... Have you ever watched the moon rise over the wasteland? I only wish I had something as wonderful as that to give. So don't feed your cat, Hollipoopa. Lesson learned. Take a step into her head, breathe truth to life, not to die. Echoes in her silent life, in the shadows she will die. I live again. Oh, get over here! Police got something crazy going on down the street. So I'll probably take the back route. Today I am going to cook chicken curry. So thank you for joining me. Oh, let me fix one thing here. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is grab my pan. One of these. I already have some chocolate mint that I'm going to add to the curry today. Uh, and I will grab the rest of the ingredients as we go. up to about seven. This is an electric uh, stove. Gas stoves will be a little bit different, so bear that in mind. What you get, I'm actually cooking for three people today, so I'm actually going to get a decent sized piece of chicken. So I'm going to reduce this down to about a four. Put my oil away. 
get our meat, olive oil out and ready for a little bit of flavor later. Uh, yeah. So we're going to do one orange bell pepper. Sorry. I think some of these vegetables were pre-washed with double checking. going to add coconut milk and pineapple tidbits. We'll do curry powder, turmeric, and I can add the other ingredients up there. The trusty knife. Okay, for those of you who have not seen me slice an onion yet, I slice the onion in half. I will slice off the ends. The 
these onions are pretty perfect. Usually when I do onions, they make me cry. Let's see if we can get through this one without crying. Alright, so when I slice the onion, I go from the outside in. Slice the potato lengthwise. Two halves. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three. Turn. Cap off the bell pepper into the compost. Bell pepper. These are beautiful bell peppers. Nice and colorful.
to the pan. Right now we have chicken, we have orange bell pepper, we have potato and onion in our pan. Then I am going to do celery. Into the compost and in pieces to the compost, put a little bit of olive oil on there. Going to put in a little curry powder. A little bit of turmeric. Cilantro. Aleppo pepper. I know how you think it is, but it is not. We are going to do coconut milk.
pazzo. in a few carrots. Point of our carrots. Again, this is chocolate mint. What I do is I pull them off, pull the leaves off, roll them in the bowl. And then I slice them up and the mint leaves can go right in there. So far,
twice. Three cups of water. I think I'm actually going to switch pots here. Just to be safe. Let's Just to be safe. Alright, so chicken. Chicken. Okay. 
And if your chicken is done when you slice through the chicken, it'll feel kind of like cutting through butter. This chicken is pretty close. going to add the rice. Because of the steam a little bit stuck. Cover it. Two things I
Okay, so I did actually forget, almost forget, forgot a couple things. Uh, Sereno pepper. Uh, this is about a uh, half of the Sereno pepper because I actually used the other half for tacos uh, yesterday, day before. And then uh, Anaheim pepper. This is about a half of Anaheim pepper as well because the other half is used for tacos. Call the into quarters and then across into little baby bits. Take me special care not to touch it with my hands. You can take the seeds out, you can leave the seeds in, you can save some seeds for your garden. However you want to do it.
normally I don't taste because I know it's going to be really good, but this time I'm going to taste it because I just want to know how hot it is. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. I'm going to add a little bit to contrast the heat. A little bit of sugar. Not too much because the pineapple already adds sugar to the, the dish. So you don't want to go crazy with it. It's really just for a little bit of flavor and contrast to the pepper. You don't want it too sweet. You want it savory, sweet, and spicy. If you wanted to, you can make this dish sugar free. Uh, you can not add the pineapple, not add the sugar or the brown sugar, uh, not add the potatoes, not add the carrots. Um, and substitute other vegetables or just do it with the onion uh, and the bell pepper, Anaheim pepper, serrano pepper, pepper profile. So we are doing sweet, spicy, and savory all in one. Seven from four. Another little taste. Perfect. Oh, absolutely perfect. All right. So we're just waiting on our rice. We have about two minutes and thirty-five seconds on the rice. So go ahead and get the dishes.
All right, so uh, the rice is ready. Uh, I added rice vinegar. I added a little bit of salt and pepper to it. And I stirred up the rice. So this jasmine rice that I'm using today, really nice. So, scoop of rice, scoop of rice. Scoop the rice, scoop the rice. that I prepared today will serve three people, two or three bowls of curry, or up to like six to nine people, depending on how hungry they are. But this is the end result for the curry. And if you want to add anything as a garnish, like a little sprig of mint or whatever in it, uh, you can. And I actually think I'm going to do that, so hang on one moment. We'll be right back.
Alrighty. So. Get from the car wheel. Chicken curry, Punisher style. Uh, several different ways that I cook it, but this is a really good way. Really, really flavorful. So thank you so much for watching. I am going to eat my dinner, and I will see you guys uh, about um, 30 minutes, 40 minutes-ish for a Magic the Gathering stream uh, at 4.20 p.m. Pacific time. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening, and I will see you guys on the flip side.